Okay, as you can see behind me, I'm back to that uh, old, uh, it's abandoned old pavilion that people did uh, family reunions and stuff in. From what I got, like I told you before, if you remember from my other video, uh, mid-60s, I think he told me it was day was done with it. They didn't use it no more. Uh, we're going to detect a little bit around the old, I don't know if you can see the benches under there or not if I moved. There's old half ass built picnic tables in there. Uh... It's going to be shitty crawling underneath that thing. When the wind was blowing earlier, I seen it moving. So uh, it's going to be down here before too long. One good winter around here when the snow hits, it's going to fall. And with me today is the Pennsylvania coin hunter. Uh, he was out visiting somebody. He's uh, His wife's ready, getting ready to have a baby. Uh, my uh, nephew just had a baby. So people just spitting them out left and right around here. <laughs> How about yeah. you? Must be something in the water. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get ready to get at it now. Let you guys know what we find. All right, we got a got a dig up a one here. Uh, this spot you see right here, right here. Here was a branch there, and I knocked it out of the way. Uh, very consistent, very because it's 71 on the damn nose most of the time here. A little deeper, it says, between three and four. But like, I, oh man, that sunk right in there, didn't it? But like I told you before, has to do with your soil density. A lot of times in your machines, so uh, sometimes they could be telling you one thing, and uh, maybe a totally different depth. I've been having that, and I'm sure you guys noticed that, uh, depending on if it's rocky soil or not. Alrighty, let's see what we got here. Okay, it was out of reach of the X pointer yet. So let's run the fisher over. Okay, it is in the plug. So what I'm gonna do, I have this camera, a little cheap ass GoPro thing, and I put one of them uh, Walmart Vivitar uh, cell phone lenses on it so I've made it into a fish eye. It seems to work pretty good. Okay, it's right in there. Okay, the camera you guys are looking at now, it's uh, showing what you're seeing is a cheap little GoPro. There it is right there. What is it? It's a dime. I'm a damn ugly one. Uh, I'll check the dates and all these whenever we go up to the car for the, re the reveal or the ending or whatever. But yeah, you're going to see two cameras. All right, we got a uh, pretty decent uh, target here. It's been a little while since I found that dime. Uh, let you guys hear this one. Jumps around quite a bit. 68 to 74. Says it's a little deeper. Okay, we'll find out. Nice deep plug out here. Rock. Okay. Here's far of the X pointer. Okay. All right. It's in the plug. It's in the plug right there. Let's see what we got. There it is. K 
can't tell what it is on screen. Let me wipe some of that crud off. Hang on a minute. Yeah, you're right. There you go. Look at that. That, my friends, is my first down wheat penny back here. Yes, sir. Bore's it in terrible, terrible shape. Uh, date's virtually unreadable. But, uh, yep, that's definitely a wheat. Yes, sir. All right, let's get the whole field in and keep going. All right, I got a signal here. Uh, very erratic. Uh, it's either a junk trash target that's rather large, that's laying flat, or an irregular laying treasure, or a good target. I don't know if you guys can hear that or not, but it's uh, not hitting. It's, it's saying it's, it's, it's uh, registered to 71 on the uh, Considering the, uh, take a little count. Considering the, uh, rocks that's in the damn ground here. Okay. Nice little plug there. Break out the X pointer. Okay, All right. Plug. in the plug right there. Let's see if we can find it. <laughs> Look at there. A big piece of copper wire. That's why it was irregular. Hmm. Oh well. Gotta dig it all if you want uh, You want to find the goodies. That's just how it is out here. Alrighty, let's fill the hole and keep going. Yeah, I got a pretty good diggable signal. Underneath these old... Uh, picnic tables. I'm going to show you guys where I'm at here in a minute. You guys will recognize this okay. place. It's underneath there quite a bit. So I can get it from here. Okay, it's right underneath that seat, right there where that little rock's at. Uh, it seems like it's really, really soft dirt here. What we're going to do, we want to dig just a shovel full out or two. I think I seen it in there. It's right here, just root. Okay, we're going to fire up the X pointer, and if it ends up being my dirt right here, I'm going to break off this little thing, get some close-ups of it. Okay, it's definitely in the dirt pile. You can hear it's in the dirt pile right there. I'm going to scoop some of this away. And Okay, we're just about there. And there it is. Clyde Quarter. That's what the fisher said it was. But sometimes you want to keep quiet on camera because you might don't want to look like an ass saying there's something or not. But I had a pretty good I'd suspicion that's what it was. I wonder if I can see a date on that for you guys. We have to sit in here a while. Oh, a hacker's a d no, that's mine. Dropped a dime out of my pocket laying there. Yeah, I can't even see the date on it, but it's it's definitely a cloud. It ain't silver, no. All right, let's get this filled in and keep Got going. another one uh, underneath another one of these tables. It's going to be hard for you guys to see. I'll do the best I can. Okay, it's right there. So I'm going to see if I can dig a, uh, a loose dirt plug out with this rock. And... Uh, See if it's in there, and then what we'll do, we'll use that other little camera like I've been. 
I'm hoping that shows up good and don't take away from the me doing the live digs because I don't want anybody to say my my uh, digs aren't live because uh, they are. Hey, I'm going to fire up the uh, X-Pointer. I'm going to turn the camera. I don't think you are on it. Okay, there's the, uh, there's the dirt plug I just dug out of there. Kind of a loose one. Okay, let's fire up the X-Pointer and see if that stings in there. Okay, let's crank this up a little bit. Okay, it's in there, so let's get the, uh, let's get the other little Okay, we got, uh, okay, it's right in there. Let's just dig some, uh, basically mud out. And there it is, right there. Haha, <laughs> another sound bitch and wheat. Good deal. Another wheat. Yes, sir. This place is extremely old. Like I said, you guys will recognize this uh, when I pull away and give you the. Uh, I'll let you see it. Okay, off here in the distance. If you could see them, I'm on these little wave or do something. Okay, I'll have to get the other camera. I can't see my one that good, but that's a uh, Pennsylvania coin hunter. This is on that little camera I was telling you guys about. It puts that uh, cheap Walmart uh, lens on. I'll tell you what, it looks like it works pretty good. We'll find out when I see it on uh, see it on the ca on the uh, computer screen. But yeah, two wheats, clad quarter, clad dime, and uh, I think uh, Pennsylvania coin hunter he found some stuff too. We haven't been out all that long because he's waiting for a baby. Uh, my nephew just had a baby today. Good God, everybody's spitting kids out. So, uh, got to stick around the house as much as possible. Just, just in, uh, waiting for the the phone call, so to speak, you know, from the hospital. But there, okay, there's the other wheat. All right, let's get to All right, we're getting ready to head out of here. I'm going to show you some of the stuff we found. We did really good on the coins. Uh, a lot of clad, got some wheat though. I'll show you them here to show you the junk. Uh, this one's real old. Yeah, that 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 top's real old, older than this one. If you look at the at the shape, you can see that or not on camera. The shape of that versus this one. This one here is, if I had to guess, that's from the 50s or older, and that's gonna be 70s, 80s. I'm guessing that one is. All right, uh, there you go. There's some, one of them rock climbing. Thing. I forget what the hell they're called. Carabiner. What are they called? Carabiner. Carabiner. Yeah. Okay. Carabiner. Uh, some kind of little uh, aluminum hickey. Aluminum cup. Uh, not sure what that is. Just regular trash. Looks. That hair looks like a piece of a pocket knife. Uh, this is. That's heavy. That must be solid copper, solid brass there. Okay, now on to the coins and the other stuff. Well, let's go to the other stuff here first. An old, what's well, a small version of, uh, looks to be like a cowbell. The uh, clanger things here somewhere, he said it fell out. As soon as it come out of the ground, it fell out. Uh, I'm guessing probably going to be something engraved on that when he gets it cleaned up. Uh, this here looks to me like that's brass or copper. That's probably off of a bridle. Maybe off the same uh, farmer. Had them both. You never know. Okay, now for the coins. Uh, two wheats. One's a uh, 50, let's say 50 what? 56? 56 and a 52. 56 and a 52. Uh, one's really shitty shape. One's pretty decent. Two clad quarters. Uh, two clad dimes. And the rest is a uh, clad penny. But the clad pennies, there's some 60, early 60s in these. And the reason you guys didn't see these come out here on... Uh, out of the ground, the majority of these, or some of these rather, is because a uh, Pennsylvania coin hunter who dug these up and his uh, battery went dead in his camera and he left it in the car and we was too far away uh, to walk back and get it. But yeah, that's what we found there so far. You guys did see some of them coming out. I tried out my new camera and I hope it turned out good for you. All right, we're getting ready to call it a day. We did pretty good today on the coins and... Uh... Some relics and some trash that you'll have that. Anybody tell you don't dig trash, it's a damn liar. But uh, we didn't do too bad today. Uh, a lot of coins, only two wheats though. And that's the only two ever, wheats ever found out of that place over there. 
Well, I'm guessing that place is going to be on the ground here. First good snowstorm is going to come down. Because like I said earlier, when the wind was blowing, that damn thing was shaking and carrying on. But I did go under and I did find, uh, I found one of them quarters, 65. And I believe one of the wheats come from under there. I hope you guys enjoyed what you're watching. I uh, hope you're staying tuned. Uh, see more and more digs. Uh, stop by and uh, check out Pennsylvania Corn Hunter's channel. Uh, he's been coming out with me, uh, I don't know, well, once a week anyhow. He's been coming out to Ben. Uh, when he has time, like I said, he's going to have a baby. And, well, he's not. His wife's going to have a baby and all. Uh, and remember, fellas, if you're not swinging it, you're never going to find it. And uh, thank you for watching. There's some of the local wildlife running off them bass. Oh, there's one still standing there. And there she goes. Well, there's some of the local wildlife. And that looks very close uh, on camera because we was really close on camera. That thing's probably about 20 feet, if that, from me. As you can see, they ran on. Yeah, no, there's one in the woods there yet. Yep, there he is. You can see them. Yeah, there he is. One of them was buck because that little tiny rack. Might be that one there. That little tiny rack had that velvet, I guess you call it, over it. Yeah, we see that a lot when we're out here uh, in the middle of nowhere detecting. 